A man named Isaac lived with his wife Rebecca and their sons. One is called Esau and the other is called Jacob and they were twins. Esau was a man of the field, enjoyed hunting, skillful and hairy. But Jacob was softer than his brother. He was a smooth-skinned man and preferred to stay at home. Then one day, their father called out to Esau. Come here, my son. Did you call me father? I'm getting old now. But before I die, I want to bless you. So if you go hunting and make me my favorite food, I will bless you. Yes, father. I will go hunting. I'll be right back, so please wait. Wow! The day I've been waiting for is finally coming. I'm excited! <laughs> when Isaac and Esau were speaking, Rebecca heard their conversation nearby and ran to Jacob, her son, and said, Jacob, I heard your father telling your brother about being blessed. What does it have to do with me, my mother? Don't you understand, Jacob, that you will get nothing if Esau is blessed? So now, listen to me. Mom, what do you mean? How can I be blessed? That's impossible. Just trust me. Hurry up and run to the flock and get the two goats. I will make your father's favorite food and you will bring to him. My father may be old, but... If he finds out that I have deceived him, he will curse me. Let your curse fall on me, my son. Don't worry. Yes, I don't know how to be blessed. But even though I am weak, if I follow my mother, who knows my father well, that's the way for me to be blessed. His mother prepared the food, dressed Jacob in Esau's clothes, covered his arms and neck with goatskin, and sent him to his father. Jacob's heart was pounding so hard. Father, I came back and brought you a delicious meal. Are you back? That's so fast. W what happened? The Lord your God has helped me and made the whole thing easy. So please eat and bless me. Well, the voice I'm talking to really sounds like Jacob. So Isaac told Jacob to come closer and hug him. When Jacob came near and smelled him, Isaac could not say that he was not Esau because Rebekah covered him and dressed him well. He smells like the field and there is a lot of hair on his arms and neck. God, Father, let this child be blessed wherever he goes. Wherever you are, make yourselves rich in food. Finally, let your brother serve you as well. After a while, Esau returned from hunting, tired and sweaty, but Jacob received all the blessings of his father. Dad, I'm back! Will you bless me? What? I thought I just blessed you. Was it Jacob I blessed? I just blessed your brother with the best. And there's nothing left for me to bless you with. What? Father, but I have your meal. You have to bless me. You have to bless me. It's a very, very difficult. What's wrong? What? In the Bible, Jacob was blessed by... Didn't Jacob lie? How can you take someone's blessing with a lie? Ah, you're curious about that, right? Shall we take a look at the Romans 9.13? As it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. Wow, that's amazing! What do you mean? Romans chapter 9 verse 11 explains why. For the children, not yet being born, nor having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him who calls. Genesis chapter 25 verse 23, And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, 
two peoples shall be separated from your body. One shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. It tells the type of people who are accepted by God. The characters reflect God, Jesus, and us. The two brothers represent a life that can be blessed, and Rebecca represents Jesus. Many of us have the same mind as always, and we always want to use our own skills and power. Esau was looking for the animal, but the result is God does not want to bless those who only rely on themselves. Oh, I see. That's amazing. In Romans 9.12, it was said to her, the older shall serve the younger. That's right. Just as his mother Rebecca knows his father well, in this world, Rebecca comes out as the shadow of Jesus. Jesus was persecuted, wounded, and beaten for us. Through him, all our sins were washed away and we became righteous. God did not ask us for anything, but God wants to receive only what Jesus, who shed blood for me and for my sins, did. However, many people still go to church and are guilty. I don't think I can live a religious life due to lack of effort. Those who do not understand God's heart through the Bible in Jacob and in Esau can be blessed. Romans 4.5, the Bible says, But his faith is explained by righteousness to those who justify those who do not work and are not devout. Genesis 27, Jacob had to abandon his thoughts to be blessed. He no longer relied on his conditions, but only relied on Rebecca's words that all the curses will return to her. Don't be afraid and rely only on Jesus who bears the sin of the world. We cannot appear before God in our name, but only in the name of Jesus, that is, in Jesus' name. That is faith in the Bible. God is searching this faith today. What about you? Can you listen only to what Rebecca said like Jacob? Our story will end here. We will soon be back with a new one. See you next time. Bye!